look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. I haven't been here long, but I've already heard. People want her overthrown. You have? What do these humans expect from her? I'd heard some of the more ungrateful delinquents are planning to rise up. Imagine! These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avonis sees a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, I, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... Uh, everything. How do you know this, Kiros? He was an aide, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kiros, a warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. I should be Heroes of Zarax? Hermes sent me. That keymaker is predictable. Oh. Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, is that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone herself? This is going to be easy when I grow. 
Wait. What's going to be easier? Ella.
Come on. Come on. <laughs> Off we go now. Ella. Come on. Off we go now. Ella. Come on. All right, Kiros, let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes. And Ermes found out about it right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You talk about honor? You set up this lie and use me as a mule to infiltrate Persephone's lair. I expected to meet a warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons, each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. 
Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender, or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and their miss. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium, but suffering is <laughs> That is something I can't stop. Come on. Ella. They're coming for you! That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Ella. Once Adonis hears my platform, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. And I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red, I'll think of something. Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed!
These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned the key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. No matter who the ruler is, if you give her fire, you're going to get burned. You still don't understand. Persephone wants to protect us from the dark horrors in the underworld. With the flame, she could. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her. Alexios, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe, but only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times. You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. An eternal flame sounds more like a myth than some simple recipe. Pa, I began writing the recipe with your father. It's as real as the danger we'd face without it. Why do you go to these lengths to save Persephone? She wouldn't do the same for you. Since these humans started acting against her, she's been suffering. When she suffers, we all suffer. Hermes, has it occurred to you she might just be using you? Of course not. She simply needs someone to rely on. She needs me. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. Miss Ask.
like the scribbles of a madman, but it's been ripped. Where is the rest of it? We need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? Of course not. But ah, I miss. Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming. This power could be used to light all Velisium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. Hermes, things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone. You can't even see you're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited Chaos into this realm, so let's show them Chaos. At least when you asked me to steal, it was from thieves. You're not a murderer, Hermes. You made me look like a fool when I sent you to Kiros. But I can still come back from that and prove my worth. I told you, we were diverted. It doesn't matter. Please, I'm begging you, my friend. Help me to help her. Fine. I'll kill the captains.
Thank you. You know, when you told me people wanted Persephone overthrown, I wondered if you were talking about yourself. I'm sure you did. I cannot let you do this alone, my friend. Let's fight side by side. I'll need to do this alone, Hermes. But don't worry. You can still take the credit. You are, you coward! <laughs> Because of us, because of you, Persephone is safe. Thank you, my friend. Don't call me friend, Hermes. We're done. What? But we did it, and I have you to thank. You used me, just like Persephone's used you. You're wrong. I've tried to tell you, but you haven't listened. She doesn't love you. You're wrong. She will love me, and I will always love her. I'll do anything, anything to prove that. Even killing you. So it's come to this. You're not a friend. You're an outsider. If you cross my path again, I will treat you the way Persephone treats outsiders. 